Let's talk circles. All points on this circle are equidistant from this point which is called the center of the circle. This session covers just the basics of circles, something many of you would already know. The distance from the center to any point in the circle is always constant and is called the radius of the circle. No matter where you draw the line from the center to the boundary, the distance will always be the same. A line segment like this which passes through the center is called the diameter. It passes through the center and its end rests on the boundary of the circle. And as it can be seen from the figure, its length will be twice the radius of the circle. Moving on, another concept we need to know is that of chords in circles. They are line segments which have their end points lying on the boundary of the circle. Like this one or this one. Both are called chords as their end points lie on the boundary of the circle. Let's go back to the diameter. The end points of the diameter also lie on the boundary of the circle. So is it a chord too? Yes it is, but a special one. It's the longest chord of the circle. The length of the chord as it keeps coming towards the center increases and is maximum when it passes through the center. The next concept is pretty interesting. When we draw two radii in a circle, what we get is a sector. This region inside is called the sector of this circle. Look at the sector carefully. It is bounded by two radii and this green curve. And this green curve also has a name. It's called an arc. It is simply a part of the boundary of the circle. We can call it arc ACB. So this sector is bounded by two radii and an arc ACB. And the last concept in this session is that of segments. No, we are not talking about line segments here. A chord divides the circle into two segments. Let's call this chord AB. We mark C on this side and D on the other. As this region formed by the chord is smaller, it's called the minor segment. And you would have guessed already that the other region is called the major segment. Segment ACB is minor and segment ADB is major. And similarly in the previous figure, this one is a minor sector and this one a major. The green arc ACB is a minor arc and the remaining portion of the boundary is the major arc. Now that the basic concepts are clear, Let's try building on it in the next few sessions.